Yeah, hi everyone. Today we'll see what is odds ratio and uh, relative uh, risk in SAS. So let's see the basic concepts of uh, calculating odds ratio and uh, relative risk in SAS software. Okay. So we'll go through its introduction. Uh, what are its statistics uh, available? Then we'll look at some examples of SAS program as to how to write the program for uh, calculating odds ratio and relative risk. And uh, finally, we will do the interpretation, right? Okay. So measures of association like odds ratio and a related measure of association like say relative risk, they are used to assess the strength of an association, meaning how two variables are associated and how strongly they are bond with each other right so or and rr they are used in describing the association in the two cross two consistency table the same concept uh, which i had explained in the difference in proportions in sas software so if you have not seen maybe you can go through that video as well so the odds ratio compares the odds of yes proportion for drug A to the odds of the yes proportion for drug B. Now here drug is nothing but your medicinal product uh, which is under investigation and the other product could be your reference product which is already launched in the market. So you are trying to compare the yes proportion whether the response was yes or no. So you have one variable uh, called as uh, treatments, which is my drug A and drug B. And my response is my second variable where it has value yes or no. Simpler. So this is what is my 2 cross 2 contingency table and how we'll calculate the odds ratio and relative risk. Now, the relative risk is the risk of developing a particular condition or response or disease for drug A as compared to drug B. Correct? Okay. So now odds ratio, it usually ranges from uh, 0 to infinity. Uh, when the odds ratio is equal to 1, I mean to say when the value of odds ratio is equal to 1, there is no association between the two variables or between two uh, categories. The odds ratio when it is greater than 1, what does this mean is your drug A is more likely than drug B to have the yes response. We are interested in looking at the response yes, uh, the response could either be positive, the response uh, could be equal to favorable, unfavorable, the response could be equal to yes or no. The response equal be equal to positive or negative so such kind of values will be there for a response now when odds ratio is less than one your drug a is less likely than drug b to have the yes response right so what is the ratio uh, between drug a and b uh, that's what uh, we are trying to calculate here for having the response yes Okay, so first step is to calculate the proportions P1 and P2 and uh, second step is to compute 1 minus P1 and 1 minus P2. So here uh, on my screen you see the usual formula for uh, calculating the odds ratio and relative risk based on their proportions. Clear? Okay. Now, this is one example uh, like how to calculate P1, P2. This is the same uh, example which I have carried forward from difference in proportions uh, slide. So, we have a 2 cross 2 contingency table. We have a treatment called as drug A, drug B. The response could be positive, negative. So, here what proportions we are calculating is N11 divided by N1 dot. So, we are calculating the proportion of drug A having response as yes or positive. So what was the proportion of those uh, of those uh, conditions having response yes for a specific drug 
a so when i want to find the proportion of response having yes or positive in drug b my uh, my formula would be n21 divided by n2 dot because we are considered ring the yes response in drug a and drug b so the sas procedure called as freck calculates the odds ratio and relative risk and its confidence interval usually the default is 95% confidence interval in sas now to get the odds ratio and relative risk um, we use uh, uh, chi square and measures options in the table statement of sas procedure proc freck now even though if you are using the or option in the table statement of sas in the proc freck procedure it has the same result and the same action and the same values as specifying both chi square and the measures options in the table statement so you can either use all or you can use both chi square and measures uh, you will get the same results and same action so you can try it out as a small example as a homework just to see whether you are getting the same values right so here i have explained here a very small example uh, will produce the odd ratio and relative risk so say uh, the data should be arranged in this order like i am having drug a and the first case is positive so we are trying to find the odds ratio of all those positive cases as compared to drug a and drug b so we'll have a specific count uh, as numbers shown and then you can write specific prop freq and you can write your chi square and measures or else you can write use the like say for example here this is the first option where you can write chi square and the measures the second option is to uh, include only the all and if either you can write these both or you write the single or the answer would be uh, same and your results also would be uh, most likely will be uh, uh, will be almost uh, same so that's how you can uh, try and do the um, as a as a homework as to just to see whether you are getting the same results right so the interpretation is uh, the following statistics are calculated by the sas program which is chi square or pearson correlation or the odds ratio or the relative risk or 95% confidence interval so like say for example if i am having a relative risk is equal to 2 as compared to the other group what does it mean is i am having uh, the risk of having this improvement specific in in the response yes is uh, is 2% right so that's what uh, you can uh, uh, you can you can do the interpretation for uh, relative risk yeah. so if i want to find the exact confidence limits for the odds ratio and relative risk where the data is too sparse any one cell count is less than 5 so in such scenario when we have to do the calculate the p value when any cell count is less than 5 what do we do we use the fisher's exact test so i have another video as well for how do we calculate fisher's exact test so maybe you can go through that when you get time and um, here the option would be exact or okay so and the data should be ordered in in this specific way where i'll have group 1 group 2 then positive negative positive negative all the values could be yes no yes no so if your if your data is arranged in 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 this fashion then you can specify the odds ratio uh, for calculating the exact confidence limits you can write exact and or is your option clear so yeah so this is just a small example just to cross check it yeah hi so here i would like to thank uh, each and every one of you for uh, watching my videos and uh, stay tuned to my channel for more exciting videos thank you